Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Amber and I upload beauty, fashion and lifestyle content. If they're the type of videos that you like to watch then why not hit that subscribe button and come along and join my little family. And if you're already part of the family why not make sure that notification bell is switched on and leave me a comment down below and don't forget a thumbs up. So guys I just want to do a quick little intro here. This is going to be my intro for all of my collection videos. Um, but yeah you guys have been desperate to see my current makeup collection fragrance collection anything like that so this is just my quick little intro for those collection videos anyway I hope you enjoy watching and having a little nosy around my collection so the first fragrance I've got here is the misguided babe power these misguided fragrances both the body mists and the perfumes are like absolutely lush and they're quite a reasonable price as well so this one's got a little bit of like a almost fruity scent to it next one i've got is the boss babe by misguided this is my favorite one out of the two that i own i really, really like this because it's got like a really nice sweet fragrance and i'm really into like sweet smelling perfumes and i absolutely love this one the thing that i do also love about these is because they're in this tin packaging they're really easy to travel with and take away on holiday so I do really really love these ones. The next fragrance I've got which is possibly my favourite or one of my favourite fragrances of all time. This is like the definition of what I look for in a fragrance. It's so super sweet. Um, it's the Victor and Rolf Bonbon. This is the second bottle that I've ever owned of this. I did get a gifted one when we went to an event, me and Lucy, a couple of years ago and I used it all up. I recently got this for Christmas off Dalton. I've used half this bottle already so I'm probably going to need another bottle of this at Christmas. The next fragrance that I've got, which I've actually nearly fully used up, is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder but this is actually the skin scent not the perfume skin scent is absolutely incredible it literally smells like coconuts it smells like holiday but it's strong enough for you to be able to wear it as a perfume and it is actually quite significantly cheaper than the perfume it's in this stunning like tortoise shell very Estee Lauder style bottle and I'm actually I've used you can see I've only got a little bit left of this I'll definitely definitely be repurchasing this I absolutely love this this is probably um, my second favorite scent I actually you got my friend Laura onto this because it just smells insane. If you love like coconutty, like holiday scents, definitely, definitely, definitely check this one out because you will love it. The next one that I've got is probably an oldie but a goodie and Lisa actually purchased this for me for Christmas. This is the Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. I really don't think you can go wrong with Britney Spears perfumes. They are always like super sweet if you like a super, super sweet scent and they are incredibly reasonably priced and um, they're just a really, really lovely scent. So so, um, I do really like this. It actually brings back a lot of childhood memories because this sort of the Britney Spears perfumes used to be all I used to wear when I was a kid. But whenever I wear it, I always get asked what I'm wearing. The next perfume I've got is one that I actually got in a beauty box, and this is the Age and Provocateur Fatal Pink. And oh my god, I have to say, I'm actually incredibly surprised by this. I absolutely love this. It smells insane. Again, this is quite a sweet scent. I'm not always a big fan of everything that Age and Provocateur do. I have tried some of them in the past and they've been way too strong for me but this is quite a sweet one I do really enjoy this one the next fragrance I've got is a Marks and Spencer's Rosie by Autograph Rosie for Autograph should I say this is the range that Rosie Huntington White Lee does with Marks and Spencer's and this is the Divine Elixir fragrance and if you've ever tried any of the Rosie for Autograph products they have that like oh, just this, the initial scents like very like vanilla it's very luxury and um, this is like the original scent basically of her range in a perfume and I absolutely love this I actually picked this up in the sale from Maxi's not that long ago for £10 and I really wish look at I really wish I picked up another bottle of this because I think it's been discontinued and it smells absolutely incredible if you can get your hands on this because I know some Maxi's will probably still have it by Marxies, I mean Marks and Spencer's, sorry, that's like a family thing we say Marxies. Definitely, definitely check it out. This just smells incredible. It's like a very like seductive scent. It's got like vanilla in there. Um, I absolutely love it. It smells incredible. One of the newest additions to my collection of fragrance is this one here. This is the Juicy Couture Bow Delicious. I got this in the sale from Boots for £20 and I've heard really good things about their fragrances. I know they are quite sweet and I do like a sweet fragrance. This one's like a sweet but yet fruity fragrance. I'm yet to properly like wear this and try it on because I've got quite a few open at the moment but I am excited to 
get wearing this because I just love a sweet scent. The next fragrance that I've got is a Nicki Minaj perfume. This just reminds me of Lush. It literally smells like walking in Lush for a bath bomb. It's that scent. And it is the, I think this is the Pink Friday one. I think this is the Pink Friday scent. I can't quite remember. I did used to have like all of the Nicki Minaj ones, but it does smell absolutely delicious. Um, I absolutely love this. And it is a scent that sort of lasts on your skin all day. I'm not sure if this is one that is actually being discontinued now, but it is such a nice fragrance. I absolutely love it. I've got another rosy photograph perfume here. This is the Summer Rose one. This is more florally. I do prefer the Divine Elixir to this one, but this again is such a really nice scent. Like I said, this is a little bit more florally and I do prefer something a little bit more sweet, but these perfumes are just perfect to like throw on for everyday wear. Um, and if you were someone who is into a florally fragrance, you will love this. The next fragrance I've got is from Kat Von D and this is her Cinna perfume. I absolutely love her fragrance. I know that there's a lot of controversy around the brand now obviously she stepped away from the brand but I love these perfumes um, and I still do love them it just smells incredible then I've got the YSL Mon Perry. this is the Couture fragrance again I picked this up from Boots not too long ago in their like summer sale that they had this is quite a sweet fragrance as well I just absolutely love this perfume it's super super cute I always spritz it when I'm at work because I do just love the scent of it and I couldn't say no to it it's such a bad I like the original better than the Couture but um, it's still a really nice perfume. Next up I've got this little atomizer from Parfumado and this is actually um, Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. I do really, really love this fragrance. I obviously wear this very very sparingly because there's only a little bit of it in here and to be fair with Tom Ford perfumes you don't need to wear an awful lot but out of all the Tom Ford perfumes I do really like Velvet Orchid but I only tend to wear this when I'm going to like a really nice event and um, I don't think I could justify the price point of the Tom Ford fragrances but um, it's nice just to have a little sort of spritz of it and it's actually quite a decent size they basically do like a service wear every month or so you can get these like perfume atomizers and they do like really like luxury fragrance and you get like a decent sample size of the product and um, so it's definitely worth looking into if you are into trying out luxury fragrance i have a couple of these little lady million fragrances i do like i do prefer the new lady million empire because it's a lot more sweet but i do like the lady million these are like little seven mil like little mini perfumes do you know what i mean like little miniatures got this massive box here of because obviously I work in cosmetics we do often get like samples to take away to try so this is literally just a box full of different perfume samples so there's a little bit of everything in here there's Paco Rabanne there's Mugla, Caroline, Herrera um honestly there is literally there's black opium there's a little bit of everything in there I'm not going to sit and go through all of these little samples um because I would be here for absolute ever um but it's a really nice way to try out different perfumes and I actually think if you get the these keep them and they're great for on holiday because you can take a few different fragrances with you and dispose of them while you're there they're also great to throw in clutch bags when we can go on night out a night out obviously we can't at the moment but they are perfect for that so i always keep them in this little but then i've got the hugo boss orange perfume absolutely love this i love the female one and i love the male one they both smell absolutely incredible and um, as you can see i've used about half of this up really 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 nice perfume it's quite nice because it's like citrusy but it's almost like a sweet citrusy scent so you're getting like the best of both worlds with it so i do really really like it. hope you've enjoyed having a little nosy around my collection don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i shall see you in the next video Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day.